Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and in this second video of Aruba's Dynamic Segmentation series I will be covering the secondary user role. If you haven't seen the first video and want to know what a user role is, just click on the link that you see on the screen and that link will guide you to the video that explains the concept of user roles. Now, um, as explained in the first video, a user role contains all the information that is needed by a client to obtain the appropriate access to the network. In a wired environment, there are two types of user roles. There are local user roles that are configured on the switch and downloadable user roles that are configured on ClearPass and pushed to the switch for the access device that has been granted access. Now, this user role can contain a value called the secondary user role. Now, when that user role contains this parameter and value, a later 2 GRE tunnel is established to a Aruba mobility controller. In other words, the traffic for that client is not handled by the switch anymore, but forwarded to a Aruba mobility controller by means of a tunnel. This has some great advantages because for that wired client, all the services that are provided by the mobility controller become available to the wired client, whereas when traffic is switched locally you only have a stateless firewall with ACLs. On the Aruba mobility controllers you have a stateful firewall uh, service available and in addition on that mobility controller you also have services like AppRF that allows you to analyze the traffic and WebCC which is a web service reputation service. And all of this becomes available to the wired client. From a management perspective, on the Aruba mobility controllers, you also get a unified view of wired and wireless clients. And because Aruba mobility controllers also work with Aruba's Airwave network management solution, these clients, including analysis information, are also available in Airwave. Now let me show you how this all works in an animated slide. In the first step, the user authenticates to the network and a user role is applied to that user, either through a local user role or a downloadable user role. In that user role, a secondary user role name is specified. Now, this is important to know, this secondary user role name is a user role that is that has to exist on the Aruba mobility controller because that is the user role that is applied at the Aruba mobility controller end. When the switch applies the user role, it knows that it has to set up a GRE tunnel to the Aruba mobility controller. With that establishment, the switch sends the secondary user role name to the Aruba mobility controller so that the controller knows which role to apply. So the controller applies that role with all the relevant uh, policies and services attached and your connection is established. The good thing about secondary user roles is, is that you can still use most of the user role parameters that are configured in the user role. So you can still perform things like traffic shaping and PoE assignment on the local switch port. So this functionality with the secondary user role works with local user roles and downloadable user roles. It's really like a static secondary user role that is applied to the user role. Now there's another type of secondary user role that we can use with downloadable user roles. Uh, and, and this is with ClearPass. So this feature is called a dynamic secondary user role. Now let me explain how that works. Imagine that you have a wireless only network with Aruba mobility controllers and ClearPass. A client can authenticate to the network and the Aruba mobility controller can also like download a user role from ClearPass just like you can do with switches. The situation that we have with a static secondary user role on wired switches is that the switch tells the Aruba mobility controller to use a user role that is configured on the Aruba mobility controller. But wouldn't it be great if the mobility controller can download that role from ClearPass as well? If this would be possible, you only have to configure user roles on ClearPass and they are pushed to the Aruba mobility controller and to the switches. 
Now this is what we call a dynamic secondary user role in the world of dynamic segmentation. And here's how it works. A client connects to the network and authenticates successfully. ClearPass pushes the user role with a secondary user role. However, this secondary user role is a role that has been configured on ClearPass. What happens next is that the tunnel is established to the Aruba Mobility Controller and the switch tells the controller to obtain the secondary user role from ClearPass. The switch passes the secondary user role name that is configured on ClearPass to the Aruba Mobility Controller. The huge advantage here is, is that you don't have to configure any user roles anymore on the Aruba switches and the Aruba Mobility Controllers. Everything is done on ClearPass. The dynamic secondary user role feature is only supported with downloadable user roles, which really makes sense because for local user roles this isn't really applicable. With local user roles, only the role name attribute, so the VSA, is pushed by ClearPass, so the switch is only aware of the static secondary user role. The use of the secondary user role is not mandatory. For each client, you can decide whether to tunnel the traffic to an Aruba Mobility Controller or have the client break out onto the switch locally. This makes the application of this solution so flexible and easy. Now, how does this all work with clients and ports? Can I have multiple clients sitting on a single port with different user roles or just one client per port? What if I only need one client per port without authentication, authorization and accounting? Uh, what if I want enforcement to take place at the Aruba Mobility Controller? Well, stay tuned for the next video because that's where it gets really cool by covering user-based tunneling and port-based tunneling. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. A thumbs up if you liked it is very welcome. And if you have any suggestions, ideas or questions, please let us know. And subscribing to this channel will make your life so much easier because there's so much great content available on this channel. See you later and have a great day.